Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's crosshair passage comes from 1 Peter 5, 8, 9, which says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced in your brotherhood in the world. The Daily Fire Thought for today is, As a member of the royal household of God, I am marked internally, externally, and eternally by the blood mark of Jesus Christ. Brandon, the word passages for today is Genesis 3.15, Matthew 10.1, Matthew 16.23, and 1 Peter 5.8. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is Judges 1, Acts 5, Jeremiah 14, and Matthew 28. Today we're going to be talking about the eternal mark. The blood mark of Jesus is eternal. The blood mark does not rub off. It outlasts time. We need to appreciate our salvation though, and keeping on following Jesus. The blood of Jesus has no license to sin. But God has given us eternal salvation and we are His forever, not just when we feel well. Hallelujah to that. All of heaven will be filled with the blood marked saints and not one will be in hell. Not even by accident. Somebody said that the blood of Jesus has reduced the devil. The Bible says that Satan is, is like a roaring lion. 1 Peter 5.8 he comes in the darkness and tries to frighten the children of God with his mighty roar. But when you switch on the light of God and you discover that there is no lion, there is only a mouse with a microphone. John Bunyan said that the lion at the side of the path has never fangs or claws. Christ pulled them out at Calvary. At Calvary, that nailed, scarred foot of Jesus came down on Satan's head and crushed it. Since that moment, the devil has suffered some kind of brain damage. He cannot think the things of God. In the Garden of Eden, God, knew, God already knew that the blood of his mighty son would destroy the works of the enemy. It has no empty promise. It was no empty promise that Jesus gave his disciples, which includes you and I. He gave them power over unclean spirits and to heal all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. Matthew 10 1. And he could do that because Jesus has the power over the devil. Jesus' power leaves nothing untouched, body, soul, mind, spirit, and our heart. It reaches right into the depths of our being. His blood is the secret of victory. Let Jesus mark you internally, externally, eternally, and you will be a child of God, a member of the royal household of the Lord. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.